What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today we're gonna make a simple combo combat system. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on Winbox. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to need is of course our character with our attack animations. Now I do have some over here, um, I got the character from Sketchfab and then basically added all of the animations from Mixamo. So you can do the same, okay? Now I have this sword combo um, system, okay, as you can see, I'm gonna make it over here. But okay, so we have this uh, sword combat combo animation. Now you can see that is a whole combo uh, joined into one animation. So I'm going to show you a very cool system which doesn't require to um, join different attack animations into one scheme, okay? It's directly all playing from one animation, so everything will blend very smoothly, but when we stop um, you know, clicking, it will basically interrupt the animation in a certain point that we say, okay, so here we finish the attack, so we finish, okay? Uh, I guess you guys understand what I'm meaning, and if not, you will see it better in just a few seconds. Now, it's very important that, of course, you go and enable root motion in the animation because if not, it will not, um, well, it will move. But the thing is that the, the character, uh, capsule and stuff, will not move with it. So, like, the, the, the model itself will just keep walking and now the, the character capsule and stuff, the actor itself will not follow the player. So, it's very important that we have enable root motion so we, you know, get, get uh, with the player, okay? Um, so, another thing that we are required to do is to have in our animation uh, uh, blueprint a default slot. As you know, by default, um, animation montages are played in a default slot. So if you don't have this slot in your um, animation blueprint, that if you're using the mannequin, for example, it will work by default, okay? It, it has it by default. But if not, you can just drag it and say default, and then you'll find default slot, and then you just plug it in, okay? So it needs to be in uh, right next to the output post. All right, so now that you have the character set up, you have the animations, you have uh, room motion enabled, we can start um, basically deciding where we want our animation to chop into different pieces. So then we can play them um, accordingly, okay? So what we need to do is go ahead with combat and then right uh, select our uh, combo animation, right click and go into create a name montage. And then we can, you know, leave it like that. You can change the name you want. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, if you don't know what an animation montage is, well, it's just an animation that we can play directly from a blueprint and it's very, very handy. And we just need to add that default slot in the animation blueprint and we're good to go. We can literally call this animation when we want in, in our third person character blueprint, etc. All right, so uh, now we need to find the, the parts where we want our animation to, to stop. It's like, okay, so in, uh, in here what we need to do is find what it attacked. Okay, so he just did an attack. So now we want to go ahead, uh, put the bark over here and go into notifies. Now we just want to right click and add a montage notify. Now, uh, we will basically be able to receive these uh, notifies from our blueprint and we will be able to stop the animation if the if the player is no longer uh, clicking to attack okay so we click it will do an animation and we continue clipping uh, clicking sorry before we we get to this point it will then go ahead and play this the next animation and then the next one you know the next segment i mean um so this is like the the, the notifies will be like the the part the specific point that will separate our animation um, if we are not longer clicking. So it's just right after um, the, the, the attack, okay? So we have the first attack, then it will attack again. As we're gonna delay it a bit, so a bit smoother if we go. So it attacks again, it goes back up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add another notify. So right before it starts the next attack, basically. And then I think, I believe I had another one, yes. So it attacks again, and uh, and, and again, so it does like a double one. Uh, so it attacks. There we go. There. All right. And then montage notify. And then it does the last one over here, real quick. And then that's it. Then it's up. Okay. So uh, of course this will depend on your animations and how long it is, etc. But 
you know it's really you just have to separate the animation uh when the when the text starts and finishes and stuff okay all right so now that we have our montage set up we need to go ahead and implement the code so i'm going to go into the third person character blueprint or whatever blueprint you have and um what we want to do is just find a nice spot in the in the event graph and let's uh, put the left mouse button okay so when we press the left mouse button uh let's left mouse button there we go we'll be doing something all right, so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and play an anime montage. Now, you probably know this uh, node, which is play anime montage, and we select it, we can play whatever montage that we want. But there's a more advanced one, which is a just play montage, uh, this one. All right, and we have now uh, the reference into the uh, begin notifies and stuff. So this is how we're going to access it, etc. And now we need to plug in our mesh into the scouter and that's it and now we just need to select the the montage to play which is the the one that we have just created which is this one and then we can compile so if you see if we have press play okay, and walk and stuff and i if i press left click you'll see that it plays the whole animation of course like you expect it so now we need to control that uh well if we uh start clicking um we will continue but if we stop clicking it will go into the next into the nearest uh point that we set our an notify to stop if it makes sense all right so the first thing that we need to make sure is if we are actually um playing the animation so we need to make a branch over here and now what we need to do is go and get the mesh and now we can see if we are playing animation we get the mesh and then say get a name instance and now it's like access into the anime animator kind of um but without access into that specific class and then we can just call this node which is uh montage is playing i believe it was yeah multi display all right and now we can just select our again attack uh sword combo montage all right so if this uh is not true so actually it's gonna be not true because i i, I prefer to make the the main uh, events from true uh, rather than false you know so if this is um this is true what we need to do is go ahead and create a new variable that you probably already saw there okay <laughs> sorry about that okay just create a new variable i was just testing before you know and then you say attack uh index for example right so we can now uh set this to be an integer and it will be a number now you will be wondering well why are we putting numbers here well uh let's go ahead and set it up and i'll explain in a second so if we um are playing the animation we will go ahead and set up the attack index to be one all right but if uh we are not playing the animation we need to play the animation so we're gonna go ahead and move this play montage to be after all right so first basically we'll do the condition and then uh we'll go ahead and check if we're already playing if we're already playing the animation that's that means that we clicked so we're setting the attack index to one now you will see why we are setting it to one in a second but if we are not clicking basically we're not playing an animation and we clicked uh we're gonna go ahead and play the animation all right so now what we need to do is go into the, uh, the notify begin uh which is of course uh what you expect well we put the marks on the anime montage so what we need to do is get the attack index and then uh decrement it all right so put two minuses over here and now we can decrement it by one so it'll be like minus one each time and now what we need to do is get a branch over here and then check if this is less than zero so if this is less than zero what we're going to do is call this uh, montage um stop uh, value here so get the mesh get the uh, a name instance once again there we go go ahead q all right and then what we can do is go ahead drag this and say montage stop and we can go ahead and stop uh, this specific montage that we were playing which is this one the combo right and now we can just add some blending time now this is uh, personal preference i'm gonna add uh, point actually point 0.35 you know this is just testing to see which is the best transition that it gets to you want to you know to be natural but also responsive and quick so you have to kind of uh, get a balance of course all right so uh, we have one more last uh, thing that we have to do, which is just go ahead and set the attack index back to zero like in the start All right, so let me go ahead and you know re-explain uh, re -explain you uh, what just happened over here and what we did uh, And why we added this attack index uh, variable here. So when we 
press the left uh, mouse button we're gonna go and check if the animation is already playing if it's not playing we want to go ahead and well um, play the animation so we call this play montage event then when we get to the notify begin which is when we get into one of these specific points we want to go ahead and uh, uh, basically uh, minus one from the attack index now why is this well if we go ahead and uh, if our value was zero and then we go ahead and minus it by one it will be less than zero so then we will stop the the montage and then if we click if we instead were to keep clicking while we're playing the animation we will be overriding this and setting the attack index to one so in this result it will be well one minus another one and it still will be zero which is bigger than uh well uh, this is not uh, smaller than equal so we'll not go through this event this is only min from minus one towards down you know so it will be um basically false so it will not stop the montage so now if we go ahead and press play you will see that i can uh press one one time and there we go it did the first attack but it stopped but now if i keep spamming you can see that it will continue and then finalize the animation see i just press one it will just go ahead and do the first um segment of the animation but if i were to click two, twice it would do the uh like two two attacks and then if i click three times it would do the whole attack pretty much right as you can see or if i keep uh, spamming you know you know how it means and yeah that's pretty much the tutorial guys i hope this was helpful and if you found it helpful i really appreciate you could like the video and subscribe to my channel we are really close of uh, reaching to 10k subs 10,000 subscribers this is crazy guys thank you a lot for you guys support and now yes with all i said bye bye sure.